and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the stock swoosh and I'm reviewing the Google. Uh, this had earnings last night and gap down. And it's interesting because I really, my read on this was spot on as usual. Uh, I'm very good at reading gaps. I'm sure a lot of traders got hurt in this today. Going long, going short, going long, going short, flip flopping it. Uh, didn't call any trades in this today at all. Not for the options letter and not for the day trade room either because there was nothing to do with this gap. Uh, which you can see actually right now it's trading neutral. It doesn't even have any color to the body. It's not red. It's not green. It's not going down. It's not, it's not getting bought. Uh, so again, you can't trade every gap. Every gap isn't tradable. And I, and I think a lot of people, there's a misconception of that. And also uh, something like this, you can't deny the fact that the previous close in Google was one eight one. 128758 and the exact open today was 1185. So you say, wow, you know, that took a dive. I mean, a complete and total dive overnight. So you say, well, okay, that had a lot of weakness. It came in last night in the earnings, true, but it doesn't mean the weakness is going to follow through today. And as you can see, it's not. But at the same turn, it's not getting bought either. So do you see what I'm saying? So there are some gaps that you don't do anything with. So I didn't even like this enough to rate it today, but I know it wouldn't have rated well to short. And you're obviously not going long this either, okay? So Google is a strong chart. This would have been in play and would have been a much better play if it had a different type of gap, whether up or down, if the price area had been different. And it, it doesn't really even matter at this point for me to point out what that would have been either direction because it did what it did and it's there and it's done. So I'm sure a lot of people got hurt in this today. And I'm sure those traders went both long and short in this stock on the same day, which is a big no-no, a big boo-boo. And you're asking for trouble. You can't have conviction something's lower and have conviction something's higher in the same stock in the same day. You cannot. That's called no conviction. And when you're looking here at Google, again, it had a massive sell-off into the gap down last night, okay, which you can't deny. But again, not everything that shows weakness like that even institutional weakness is shortable, okay? So Google today was not a short, and Google today was not a long. Google was nothing. This is what I call a nothing gap. It's rare, rare, but you know, I'm not really surprised, not really surprised at all. And what, well, I guess I'm not surprised at this either. I was gonna talk about the market next, but I'll do a video on the market. The market's holding up fairly well today and did even in the gap down this morning, considering even Google gap down as much as it did. So the sector is holding out, holding on pretty good, and so is the market. So interesting, interesting read here. But I'm pointing this out because, again, I need to reiterate, not every gap that occurs is playable, whether up or down, and also even something that showed an extreme amount of weakness in the gap down, which you cannot deny. In fact, I'm going to show you here this bar that was last night. This got hammered last night. This is all happening in the, the, the half an hour, 45 minutes after the close. It doesn't mean that you shorted on the day. And that's why the rating system, which is what I apply each day in the stocks that I look to trade or call options in or the day trades or any of the trades that we do, whether overnights or day trades for quick trades, I apply my method, which is the golden gap rating system to longs or shorts to look at the gap. That's how you know what to do. That's how you know if there's anything to play. And in the case of Google, there was no play. No play. And sometimes if you're going to become a, a, an active trader, and even if you're an investor, sometimes that is the case. And I think that is something that people miss, miss. They think that there's something to do every day and in every earnings and in every gap, particularly a stock like this, particularly the move that it had, which was big down, but it doesn't mean it's going to keep dropping. And again, it doesn't mean you buy it either. I mean, I'm not even remotely surprised that this is neutral. This is going to close probably very similar to this area. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty much been in this area all day. So again, this is another reason to learn from me and take my course. Very important to understand what gaps are rateable to do, what gaps are tradable, what gaps are predictable in the gap, and, and how you can see it ahead of time again in the pre-market. It doesn't have anything to do with this drop off here in the weakness. You can't deny that it fell off. It fell off big time. Again, that doesn't mean the weakness is going to continue to have a short play in the day. 
And it also doesn't mean you flip around and buy it. Okay. Anyways, the next Golden Gap class isn't until the end of May, May 18th and 19th. However, if you're interested in signing up or want more information, you can email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a great day, everyone.